Let us pray. Your word is a lamp unto our feet, O God. It lights the way in darkness and allows us to see clearly. Let us hear your word with new ears so that we might make it a part of our very being. We pray in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Our first reading this morning comes from Psalm 89, verses 20 through 37. I have found my servant David. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm shall also strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him, and the wicked shall not humble him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness is steadfast, love shall be with him, and in my name his horn shall be exalted. <clears throat> I will set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him the firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Forever I will keep my steadfast love for him, and my covenant with him will, be, will stand firm. I will establish his line forever and his throne as long as the heavens endure. If his children forsake my law and do not walk according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes and do not keep my commandments, then I will punish their transgressions with the rod of, and their inequity with scourges. But I will not remove from him my steadfast love or be false to my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant or alter the word that went forth from my lips. Once and for all, I have sworn by my holiness. I will not lie to David. His line shall continue forever, and his throne endure before me like the sun. It shall be established forever like the moon, an enduring witness in the skies. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Last week we were hearing about Jesus as he visited his hometown and was rejected by the people. And at the end of that reading, he had taken time to send out the 12 disciples on missions to carry out together in teams of two. And we pick up the story in this morning's lesson. It says, The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place and sit by yourselves. Uh, so that you might rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat, and they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many of them saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. And as he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and Jesus had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him and rushed about the whole region and began to bring the sick on the mats to the, wherever he was. To, and wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that he might touch, they might touch even the fringe of his robe, and all who touched it were healed. This is the word of the Lord. 